Okay, so what did you find most interesting in the history of China? Um, I think I found most interesting is that uh, Chinese have the ability to um, reunite, especially after periods of like um, fighting and disunity. So I can go back to um, um, the Ming Dynasty, the <laughs> Han Dynasty, the Tang Dynasty. No, okay, you can go back <laughs> to um, after Western Zhou, like um, after the Emperor fell. There are many different states that fought for power, and so that's during the Warring States period. And then um, the amazing part is that Qing Si Huang Di he mm-hmm. could just unify China within um, a pretty fast movement. I admire that point that he can just unify everyone. And also, like with the Han Dynasty, when it fell, um, three generals they fought each other, and then that became the uh, period of disunity. Is that Sango Yi? Yeah, that's Sango Yi. Oh, cool. I believe it. Okay, <laughs> no, so the take period of disunity, there's, there are three generals that fought for each other, fought for power, and then after like about 200 years or so of fighting, um, it came the Sui dynasty, which also ended that disunity, which, yeah, I'm really, um, yeah, it's really cool because it's, like a, has the ability to reunite itself, even though it has periods of like uh, disunities in between. And if you move on forward during to the Opium War, uh, that century during 1900, and so the Europeans came and just sort of destroyed China. And even after that, they get to they slowly rebuild it itself. As you can see, like from how UK gave back um, Hong Kong and Portugal gave back Macau, and so like China slowly rebuilding itself over and over again. Like that's already three times, <laughs> three times in history. <laughs> and then so we can now see um, in the present day, China went um, went from really low to like a superpower, and this is evident in the 2008 Olympics. So showing that Asia can actually step up and pick up itself and like again rebuild so it can become like um, really great and we can see now that China is become, becoming a like a superpower passing US because of its harmony between people and its ability to reunite and so I think that's really good and a good trait that every, everyone should learn how to um, incorporate in their lives. Yeah. Wait, how? <laughs> what do you mean? You're saying like you you unite, incorporate in life. Yeah, because I think um, because uh, you see Europe, they're all different nations, even though they're part of one, one continent. continent of Europe, and China is like, like a big different, yeah, country, different countries, different provinces, but they're still under one, like central united country, right? But then Europe is like different countries and different nations with different languages and they can't cooperate with each other properly. And so if they have the ability to reunite or even unite together, they can mm-hmm. probably like go really far also. Oh. Also when you said everyone you meant countries, right? No, Not in the Oh so. and like individual people too? Yeah, like oh. you don't have to you know, just be for yourself. It's you can go as a group and work as a group to like move up for the better of everyone.